In this video, we're going to be going over how to create a spiral slide in Onshape. So the first thing we're going to do is let's create a sketch on our top face, and we're going to grab a circle tool. Uh, this circle will be uh, where the slide wraps around. So we could start with, let's say, 18 inches diameter, and we're going to finish our sketch. So when we create this, our slide will actually begin to kind of wrap around this circle. Um, so the middle of our slide is 18 inches diameter. Um, again, you can type in any uh, numbers that you would want. Um, so we're going to start with a sketch on the front face. Let's do a look at the front face. And since we chose 18 inches, let's just type in the radius and we'll do 9 inches so that we're at the uh, edge of our circle. Uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to have a 3-inch thick arm for our slide. We're going to call this 24 inches, so where you're actually sitting in the slide, and we'll end with another 3-inch side. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to grab our 3-point arc tool, and we'll just start on our outside line to outside line. We'll kind of drag this down. We'll call it, sure, 15. We can grab our inside point and our inside point bring this down. That looks good. We'll call it 12. And so what we're going to do now is let's grab our little scissors tool. We can trim these two lines right here. So now all we have is our little U shape. So I'm going to click finish sketch. We can go to our helix tool. And before we try and do anything, it won't let us click on our circle. It won't let us click on our U shape. So what we need to do is go up to where it says turns. Uh, what we want to do is actually do a height and turns. Uh, so what this is going to do is this is going to add height to our middle circle. So let's call our slide, let's say we have a 10 foot tall slide, so 120 inches. It says it's set to four revolutions right now. Let's see what this looks like. So we got a crazy spiral slide right now. And what we can do is we're going to do our sweep command we can click on our U shape and then choose our path to sweep. So as you can see now, we have a kind of a crazy looking slide right here. We have a four, you know, revolutions. We can change this. We could do, let's try to, we can say, okay. And look at that. Oh, that looks a lot better. You can, I mean, again, this is the, the a great thing about uh, Onshape is it's very easy to make changes. So we could say maybe we want to have a three-quarter turn. It's like, holy smokes, we're, we're going downhill right there. Um, so let's change this back. Let's do like one and a half. Sure, that looks good. Um, and again, if, if you want this to be wider, we can actually go back in uh, to this sketch right here. And we could change the size that we want. So right here, I think we did 18 and 9. Let's say we want to do 12. That's going to scoot that over. We could come into our first sketch instead of 18. Let's do, uh, let's try 24. Let's say, okay, that should all update. And so now if we look at this, okay, where the slide actually wraps around, this is now uh, 24 inches. I believe it was 18. So again, you, you can make any changes that you want. Um, and Onshape does a great job of updating that instantly. So this is just one example of how you could create a spiral slide within Onshape. 